Well, hello everyone. Welcome to this Octopath race on Trasa's story. Hello. I'm gonna get wrecked. You are? No, maybe, maybe. We, 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 we both will probably get wrecked by RNG. But that's the game. That's the let's, game. Uh, let's just uh, get into it. Sounds so, like a plan. Countdown in three, two, one, go. <laughs> so you may, might hear the Jap you, you might hear the Japanese voices already. It's fast. It's. F yeah, apparently Japanese voices are slightly faster than English. I only learned this a few days ago from Box, which is kind of nice of him to tell me. So first things first, we're going to buy a weapon and uh, equip said weapon just to make us a bit more powerful oh. for this next part. Do you want to talk about what the story is about here or shall I? Uh, go ahead. Okay, so uh, we're starting off with Tressa, and Octopath Traveler is a bit of a, an interesting game in the sense that there isn't actually one story in the game, but rather there are eight, hence the name Octo. Um, and we choose the story for the merchant, where uh, we start off in our little town, we're a beginning merchant, we're coming from a merchant family and everything, and uh, after buying some wine we hear some commotion in town, and it turns out there's a couple of pirates running about. So, you know, we being the good guys that we are, we decide that we want to go after them, and then we meet up with this very famous merchant who uh, ex convinces us, so to speak, that it might not be a very good idea for us to, uh, to just run into a lair full of pirates. So instead, we're going to buy some sleepweed, because of which we... And we then drug a barrel of wine to uh, give to the pirates as a quote-unquote present, putting them all to sleep, giving us free access to uh, to their dungeon, essentially. <laughs> so, uh, how do uh, encounters work in this game? Uh, oh no, I'm caught by surprise. Uh, not good. <laughs> Wanna break? <laughs> but anyway, you were saying about the encounters. Yes, uh, for the first... You get, you get a certain set of free steps every time you enter an area with uh, possible encounters. And after a while, you get an encounter. And I'm getting them really early, so... Uh, yeah, I'm now the amount of steps is somewhat random, the amount of steps that you get. Um, but not in... Like, it's always within a certain range. So with certain areas, if you get uh, lucky, you can, you can usually... Usually you can go through areas without getting too many encounters. Sometimes you get some uh, in this this area. It's possible to get two, but it's really difficult. Usually you get three. And we try to break them because that guarantees us to run, which is just a yep. lot safer uh, regardless. And uh, then we... Sorry. Yeah, don't go ahead. Uh. So we get to the pirate here. Uh, we deliver the wine. Uh, there's. We're going to just skip through all the cutscenes to save for this one because it's only one text box. Yep. It's the only cutscene where we don't do that, and off we go. Yeah, we've all got similar RNG, so we're only a few seconds apart. This is bound to change as the run progresses, just by the nature of this run. Yeah, there's a certain part in the run uh, that's really RNG intensive, because we only can use uh, work with certain encounters. Um, what that means is, uh, at that point, uh, we can either get lucky, or, well, it, can take, it might take a while. <laughs> yeah, we, we, got, uh, we got the safety scenario in case um, it really goes uh, poorly. Yeah, we both made a safety save prior to the run, yeah. but uh, there's just a chance that we're going to get stuck. or the, And there's also a chance that one of us gets stuck and the other immediately is able to move on. And uh, we'll see what happens. It can really go either way. So we pick up a Thunder Soul Stone here. That's to help us with the next boss. Oh, you uh, got unlucky with the encounters. Yeah, that's not great. But this one's easy to break at least, so. Yeah, the sleeping pirates are quick because you can just flee from them. You can flee under certain conditions. If your enemies are surprised or all of them are asleep or you're on the fifth turn, you get, um, uh, you can run away immediately. I got an extra encounter because my steps went slightly uh, poorly. So this is Mick and Mac. The idea is pretty simple. Uh, we try to, or we, we drop the shield from one of them to down to one, and then we start using Trade Wind of the other just to get him all the way down. 
Over the course of the fight, we need to heal twice in order to get enough um, of those yellow thingies above, or that you see underneath Tressa's name. Boost points. Boost points, thank you, I forgot the name. Um, Okay, that was a little bit more, clo a little bit too close for comfort there. Uh, I should be fine still. Oh, I mean, I'm fine, but Ooh, surviving. <laughs> okay, you're surviving at 10. I survived at 11. We're both a little bit too close for comfort Ooh. there. <laughs> so I'm gonna t uh, gonna take another heal here because we have to anyway. If not, you don't have enough boost points to, to get the kill on uh, both you of them. Can, you can skip that second heal, actually. <laughs> is it possible? I it never is. successfully did with actually... Yeah. Uh, I, 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 always, <laughs> I always get stuck in the last bit of the fight at that point. Well, the nice thing is uh, the buff uh, the Mick does after uh, restoring from a break uh, doesn't do any damage to you, so... Ah, fair enough. So you have a free turn, basically. <laughs> fair enough. Well, because basically here he does uh, oh, we'll make you walk the flank, but that only increases his uh, attack. Fair enough. So yeah. that's a free finish. <laughs> so that is uh, the first boss of the game done. The way these uh, stories work is there every character has four chapters that we have to go through. And then along the way, we're going to pick up some other characters to, yes. to make things a little bit easier on us. Because doing that with this was just one character is next to impossible. It is a challenge uh, you can do, actually. Oh, yeah. I it's think even an achievement on uh, the Steam version. Is it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that it was. Yeah, I, I can... Uh, the Steam version... Uh, the achievements in the Steam version are not hidden, so you can see what the challenges are. Okay, so here comes a bit of a route difference between Box and me. Uh, there is? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pick... I'm going to do the side quest here. Ah. See, there's a side quest here. Uh, which is just two text boxes, and then you give the healing grape, and then one cutscene, which gets you 1.5k. Uh, Box will pick up some safety money later on in the run. Um, I combine it with another safety. Actually. Yeah. And I have them, the the two of them sp uh, split. I have two safeties split out over the course of the run. It's it really doesn't matter. They're both safeties. They kind of just work out. Eric, uh, if I get really lucky with the encounters, another variation can happen. Um, uh, that's really rare. It's a 1% encounter. So uh, you were talking about a bit of uh, money. Do we have time for a quick donation and some words? Go ahead. Sure, go so ahead. So first off, we do have a 5 euro an anonymous donation, but your generosity is appreciated nonetheless. Oh, also, account. I would like to remind everyone that you can stay updated with all our events by following us on Twitter and Instagram under the handle BSG Marathon. You'll get a behind-the-scenes look of the events and stay up to date with the latest news on our marathons, events, and more. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah, Box got a, a very unlucky encounter there. With the doubles, you can't uh, break them, because by the time you'll break the second one, the first one will be out of break again, so it doesn't really work out. Yeah, it's really, it's really a bad encounter to get, and they deal a ton of damage. Uh, at least you got the frog there. Those aren't too bad. You can break them with a bow. No need to. <laughs> well, in this case, no. True. I usually like to break those frogs with a bow because it's, it's just still a single hit to get through them. Usually you'll get about two encounters on the way to Atlas Dam. Uh, but again, there is there is some randomness involved here. Oh, I'm getting another frog at this time. I'm breaking it. Sure. Why not? <laughs> That's fair. I think we're tight uh, again. Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, slightly ahead. <laughs> you are. I mean, eight minutes in and we're basically synced. I can take this. Yeah, we're getting similar RNG. I got a bit of bad RNG and you got a bit of bad RNG. So that's yep. that evens it out. Also. So here we're going to pick up our second character, Cyrus. And contrary to the earlier uh, story, we can actually skip most of his chapter. We don't really have to worry about it. So we're going to say, yes, we want to take oh. him along, but no, we're not going to want to hear the beginning of his tale. I accidentally beat on uh, the first uh, one. <laughs> I've had it happen in practice that I accidentally uh, said yes to the beginning of the tale. 
Oh, that's kind of annoying. That means that you have to reload the autosave. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's not that bad in this case, because it's uh, basically the previous uh, screen transition. So in the in the dungeon here, we're just going to head to the boss immediately, basically. Uh, and in the dungeon, we want to kill two enemies to build up some um, some job, job points for later. <laughs> now, the easy way is just to break them and then uh, a times three trade wind on the second turn that kills them. There are other ways to go about it. There's there's a lot of different ways you can kill these enemies. And they, they all are kind of about as fast. So it's really whatever you want to go for. I need to remember that my laptop goes on sleep mode after a while, so I need to open it again and then uh, set it up. Uh, but uh, it'll be fine. Ah, not a good one. Well, at the very least, this first part is pretty pretty straightforward. Okay, so now we have 30 jaw points on Tressa, and we're going to use that to get the ability Hired Help, which is probably the most powerful ability that we have in this game. And then it's off to the boss. Okay. I am having a little bit of a bad encounter. Now, from the previous boss, we got a, uh, an, uh, a soul stone, an ice soul stone to be precise. And the advantage that ice soul stones have is, um, or any soul stone really, is that they deal a set amount of damage. So okay. you, you can use that to kind of make certain fights a lot safer and a lot easier because you, you kind of know how much damage you're going to deal. And early on, they're going to be quite powerful. So we'll be using that for a good chunk of the run. So now comes uh, the major RNG sequence now that yeah. we're done with this, uh, this second boss here. We're going to be running to the Whistle Woods in a moment. And in there, we want to kill an encounter with bugs. The reason we want that is we need a certain amount of job points for Cyrus to get evasive maneuver, which unlocks when you get two skills on Cyrus. Uh, evasive maneuver allows us to go around the map um, with a significantly reduced encounter rate, allowing us much more access to certain areas that we just don't even have a chance to get to right now. But it's not guaranteed that we get them, so we're just going to hope for the best here. Yeah, exactly. We're going to pick up this light soul stone. That's uh, in order to help us out on that one. And off we go. Cyrus, by the way, being our scholar, and he's uh, he's quite helpful on several occasions. Yeah, every every uh, route uh, picks up a scholar in some way. Uh, so basically, the reason we want a scholar is because um, if you learn a couple of skills, then you unlock uh, certain support skills, and the supports first support skill you unlock on Cyrus is the evasive maneuvers, which gives you less encounters. And we use it to dodge uh, most of the encounters uh, in this run, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it's an incredibly helpful skill. So here I get a good chance to just break the enemy and flee away. Yeah, I'm about to get an encounter here. Mm. Those ants are somewhat tempting still. They, they give a decent amount of job points, so that if you have to kill kill frogs, usually you want to then grind out some ants. Not a good one. <laughs> First encounter crew cup, yep. there is not the one you want. <laughs> nope. You want so, to encounter with bu uh, spot bugs, so to speak. Yeah, anything that is not that basically means we try yeah. to flee. If we don't flee, we die. We load it again. We agreed we do six to seven encounters. If we still I... haven't found it by that point, uh, we're going to load our backup save. Yeah, exactly. So this one for me. <laughs> yep. Please let me flee. That would be nice. But of yeah, I, I couldn't do that. I game overed. That's yeah. game over number one for me. 
I'm game overing as well. <laughs> you can't avoid it. You see, the encounters in this area are much stronger than you are. Yes. But the Soulstone insta kills uh, the frogs and the spot bug encounters. That's why you want to get those. You got a good one. Yeah, but I was caught by surprise. Oof. Yeah, that's unlucky. That can happen as well. Yeah, this this is the second time this happened today. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate that so much. Spot yeah. bugs. Yes. Ah, okay. GG. GG. Okay, I'm through. Yep. <laughs> yep, you're through the worst of it then. I need to keep my notes uh, open. Yes, this is part of the reason why we wanted to do a race, because we just know that this can happen, and at least this way one of us will be able to properly finish uh, it. Let's see, Firestorm, Lizards. Okay. I'm uh, through one of the worst parts. <laughs> Same Z's. Nice. I didn't take too much longer, at least. Uh, we're still quite close. This can be decided by the RNG bosses, because we have those as well. <laughs> ah, I accidentally talked to the old lady again. <laughs> Good job, me. So yeah, but now we're going to do our uh, big adventure, because uh, we're going to travel to quite some locations, pick up some very overpowered soul stones. Uh, the larger your soul stone is, uh, the m higher the damage it does. Um, and uh, we can go because we have evasive maneuvers. We can dodge the encounters in the higher level areas, and we use that uh, to great uh, effect, as you will soon see. First things first, uh, we'll we'll be making our way uh, to Cobblestone, which is where we will pick up our next uh, uh, party member. But. Uh, well, we set the teleport point, because the moment you visit the town, you have the teleport point, and then we do the rest of the traveling and picking up items, to, so that we can clear the character stories as quickly as we can. Yeah, so we're going to go to the town where the character is, but we're not actually going to get the character, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, getting an encounter in that first screen is uh, can happen a lot, since the screen is very long. Yeah, it's one of the screens where it's just quite likely to be a thing. And it's not too bad, since there, there are still early uh, game encounters you get there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, cobblestone. I need to keep my notes open. Help. <laughs> so yeah, essentially with the route that we do, there is a few major RNG points. The first one we've now both passed, which is getting the, uh, the spot bugs from before. Uh, the next major one will be uh, Omar, which is... Tressa's Chapter 2 boss. Yeah, Tressa's Chapter 2. And then the third really big one is Esmeralda, Tressa's yes. Chapter 4 boss, and also the final boss of this particular run. I wanted to scroll my notes a little bit <laughs> to the right position. Because I only need my notes actually for the, uh, for the Chapter two, 2, 3, 4 bosses. Pretty, rest, mu pretty much the same, yeah. Yeah, the rest I know by head. Uh, which is why I have my laptop in front of me and Cruella's mobile phone. Yeah, I will I take a safety save here because I never trust the screen. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that one. I, I, I don't usually take a safety save there. Uh, I've had it happen a couple of times that I've got an encounter. Oh, I've gotten the encounter there. Usually I still manage to get away, okay, though. I, uh, I'm through with the screen. That's the biggest uh, one. Uh, for this route. Yeah, so essentially right now we're one screen apart, which just goes to show okay, how with, close it still is. With the amount of steps that we take in certain screens, we sometimes do a thing uh, which is called a save and reload. And that's to refresh uh, the RNG counter. And uh, that allows us to get uh, through screens without encounters. And in high level areas, this is of uh, vital importance. Because we can't take or really take on the encounters in this area. Yeah, and because we're so low level, running really doesn't usually happen either, so... Yeah, you have a theoretical chance to run, but it's very unlikely. You're really lucky if you can get through uh, that. And uh, we'll be visiting the first of uh, the job shrines. The job shrines give you jobs um, in, the, in this game, and uh, the, the 
the, the simple job shrine are the ones that have the jobs of the eight uh, characters. So in this case, we get Tressa's job, the merchant job. And the nice thing about the merchants, uh, like we said before, is it has the hired help ability. So you can uh, buy, so basically you can trade money for uh, big battle damage, basically. And uh, we'll be using that later to run, to run two merchants, so to do double uh, the pay-to-win uh, strategies. Yeah, Tressa's run, I think in any version that you really do, is basically pay-to-win. Yes. It's in all the routes it's pay-to-win. Although there is this variation, if you get a Kate encounter before, you get the Cyrus, you do a slight variation. Okay, this is rare. I got an encounter, actually. Oh, that's quite rare, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot to reload. My bad. Please. Oh, yeah, I, I just usually run to the next screen because you can make it. Uh, I tend to be off, so that may basically means that we get a lead change. Yep. Luckily, That's it's another not, one. Luckily, it's not that bad since I saved. Yeah, um, you're not gonna. The, the difference isn't gonna grow by much, but it's fun to see the race being a little bit back and forth like this. Yeah, right? I'm a bit nervous, so I'm <laughs> I'm tend to make mistakes. Uh, yeah, I I had I guess both the advantage and disadvantage in a way that I had to uh, run this earlier today at a uh, basically the Belgium Comic Con. So on stage there, so I've I've had my share of practice there. Yeah, I just need to get my head into the game properly. So in Gold Shore, we just pick up a few items and uh, we just move on. No. And now comes probably my least favorite screen, or my two least favorite screens, I should say. This next part, the 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 chances of getting something are pretty high. Like they're they're notorious for just giving you encounters. Okay, I got through the first one. The first one is the, uh, the do most doable one. Yeah, and the second ones, the, they're both awful, and all of the encounters are. I've struggled with quite, the first one as well one. in the, the past. Yeah, like all of the encounters are super tough, so they basically just kill you. So we pick up the item, we uh, reload the screen bad. just to make sure that uh, we we've got the encounters ah, got reset. The yeah, yeah. Ooh, that I sucks. need to be lucky. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is RNG. Uh, caught by surprise, that's unlucky. <laughs> now you can opt to walk a little bit here and there. That slightly reduces the uh, encounter no, rate. No, not, uh, not the moment you have evasive maneuvers, actually. Oh, doesn't it do anything? No, uh, I thought it did. The it only does it for, well, at the moment you don't have evasive maneuvers. Well, now I feel silly. <laughs> well, it's worked for me, so I guess, uh, sure. <laughs> I, I've re read upon it because I wanted to be sure of this, uh, but it actually for in face maneuvers, it doesn't matter. Huh. Well, I learned something new today. Well, that does mean that you don't have to waste your time taking steps. But that's a good thing. Ah, I got it again. <laughs> this has happened several times in the past. Oh, yeah, I've... I've gotten stuck on that screen for like three, uh, four minutes at one point. It, it, if you get unlucky, there's not, just not much you can do. Yeah, I'm, my movement is slightly jittery. <laughs> so we set a war point here in uh, Grandport, and then we're actually going to immediately mm. leave for the Lock of the Lost King. Okay, That's I'm to get two chests here. There's a soul stone, and there's a chest with, I believe, 30,000 gold or something. At least a lot. And the reason we first... Well, we have to go to Gold Shore during this run anyway, because that's where the Chapter 4 is going to be. But there's also a lot of money items there that we can also pick up while we're there. But for that, we have to walk through the entire city, so it's faster to just first go to Lock of Lost King, then warp back to Grand Port, and we just kind of finish it up from there. Oh, bad. You're getting them really early, too. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Sometimes that does happen to me, and I can't explain why. And it cost me a PB twice <laughs> at this point. I just need to relax, relax, relax. So here we're gonna buy some uh, some soul stones uh, that we're gonna that we're gonna use for some bosses later. We're gonna purchase two energizing palms. I guess, Box, while we're at it, you want to talk about what the palms do, or shall I? Yes, uh, the, the palms uh, will, uh, uh, will, will give you boost points. Uh, 
Dang it. Again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we, oh, you could, they boost your points by uh, one or two. One, two, three from uh, what I remember. Uh, depending on sites, uh, so size. So um, you can use it to gain extra boost points. Man, I'm not getting through the screen easily. Woo, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you really need that money too. Yeah, that's... So now that I am through the screens, uh, I am going to be picking up my third character here, Olberic. Yeah, Olberic's story is pretty straightforward since we now have the large soul stones. Okay, I'm through. Finally. Nice. The second one I, is much easier for me. Yeah, in general, the second one is a lot more manageable. Uh, so first we pick up this item, leave, re-enter, and then I can usually make it <laughs> through. And so, for oh. those of you that may say this race is over, um, it depends on the boss. Definitely not. It. It's definitely not. The next cup, or there are a few bosses coming up that can still very much change the change the outcome here. Yeah, it's really the unfair aspect of this game. The game decides who will win. And I got an encounter, so I messed up again. Oh, RNG, are you going to be nice to me and let me run for the Kingfishers today? No. <laughs> Definitely no. And the Kingfishers, we are in a level 45 area, they're insta-kill you. Yeah. Essentially, we're like 30 plus levels lower than... I think we're close to 40 levels lower than what yeah. we're supposed to be. So, Ulbricht's story here essentially boils down to... He's a, he's a, 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 a warrior from uh, a kingdom that doesn't exist anymore, and he's well, kind the of... The kingdom of Homburg. <laughs> yeah, and the kingdom... Homburg. Uh, Homburg. Yeah, something like that. And uh, he's been helping the town, basically, because, okay. you know, he, he doesn't really have much of a place to go anywhere else anyway. And uh, then the town gets attacked by... Um, by a bunch of bandits. And one of the kids gets, I think, kidnapped to, by the bandits even, and so Olberic steps in and goes fight them, and that's the fight. There's not much to it, really. So that gets me to level 8. Now we're going to pick up... Uh, okay, made it to Yeah, you've made it. Whew. Good. Worst okay, that's the worst part. <laughs> yeah, the, you're through the worst of it now. Movement-wise, that's definitely the worst part. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to leave the town here. We're bringing Ulbrich along with us, and we're going to pick up our fourth character um, as Box is about to head towards getting his third. Uh, we're going to pick up Primrose, a dancer. I think it's mostly just because she's a fast character that kind of happens to be on the way. Yeah, you can um, uh, basically what you usually do in the category is you mold her into the ca character you want. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, uh, oh sorry. So you make her a thief. We make her a thief in this route, and uh, in the other routes, if you get a cage, then you skip Cyrus and you make her a merchant. Actually. Oh, is that what you do? Okay, yeah. I see. Uh, that makes sense. You make uh, Tressa a scholar in that route. So that she gets evasive mm. maneuvers. Yeah, that makes sense. And you pick up Therion instead, which allows you to get a, an extra item, which makes the route infinitely more consistent, basically. <laughs> so here I have to get a 60%, and I'm getting quite unlucky on it. Okay, this is my last chance, or I'm going to have to reload the save. Okay, I got it on the fifth try. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is really unlucky. Yeah, that's... Unfortunately, that's a slight amount of fire RNG you also have to deal with. Usually it's not too bad. Yeah, there's 60... The, the worst one is that one, and that's a 60%. And you get five tries before you have to reload a save, so... Usually it's not a big deal, but occasionally something like that can happen, and you almost get into trouble anyway. I'm one character behind, basically. <laughs> yeah, so this next area... Uh, usually pretty straightforward. If the movement is good, you can get through without getting an encounter. Although it is, it both requires really solid movement and it's still a bit RNG based. So it's I'm really close, uh, basically. 
I got through it. Nice. I've had it happen that I accidentally selected the start of Old Rig still. Oh god. That's terribly long. Yeah, yeah, well, you definitely don't want to do that. Luckily, you can reload the outer save uh, you do the moment you re enter an area. So here we just use one large so soul stone, two uh, small so uh, or medium soul stones, and that just kills the boss. So there we go. That's Helganish. The story here is basically Primrose is a dancer, and uh, she's been dancing to try and find the the people that murdered her family or her father, I think it is. She's out for revenge. She's out for revenge. Yeah, and she finds one of them. But then, uh, as she tries to leave, the owner of the, the place where she dances stops her, kills her friend, and uh, then we get into a battle. Um, and then we kill him. That's her in order. <laughs> so now we're gonna do a little bit more overworld movement as we make our way to uh, Tressa's chapter two. Now, there are two ways to go about this. This screen you can do without an encounter, but it's really tight. Uh, yeah. Alternatively, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter Clearbrook real quick to reset the encounters completely. And additionally, it boosts or it gives me some extra money. Uh, the encounter, it's not a really bad one because it is a level 11 area. It's So usually you can run decently fast, but this way it's just a little bit more consistent. Uh, another option is to reload the save, uh, which is which also works. It's about the same time, but this has the advantage that, it, that you get like 200 leaves or something. So I prefer that option usually. I'm on over boss now. Okay. We got stone. So here there is another safety item that I'm going to pick up in the mine. This one's completely optional. I, Box, will you go for it? I won't. You won't, oh. okay. So there's a, a large wind soul stone here. It takes about 24 seconds to pick it up, uh, but it makes the next part a little bit safer because you, if you get an encounter, you can kill it. That said, it's by no means yeah. required, uh, and depending on your strats, you can either take a little bit more risk and not pick it up, or you can not take that risk and pick it up. Uh, I think Box has some extra safeties in this next part because of which it doesn't really matter for him anyway. Yeah, I'll basically get the, if you don't get an encounter, you can use it to, to skip a pickup later. I'll get that pickup because it's definitely faster. Um, because it's basically on your way. It doesn't cost you really any extra time. Yeah, so there, this, these are just small route variations between the two of us, which I think it's cool that we have a few at least. Yeah, it's really uh, um, safety. Basically, I'll take a chest that gives me 5,000 uh, leaves, and that's enough to guarantee any money routes, uh, basically. <laughs> uh, that one, Armor Corrosive. Okay, got that menu done. So we pick up the Thief Shrine here. Uh, get a few skills in there. I, I like to do it right away because I always forget to do it right before the boss. So if I don't do it immediately, I will forget. Guard wasn't nice to me either. <laughs> got it second try. <laughs> That's not too bad. I usually get it first try. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it being a 60%. It's a little worse than average, but... Yeah, that's basically a one in two chance. Yeah, sort essentially. Of, sort of. So here we got to be careful of selecting Tressa's story and not Cyrus's story. And this will go for a few areas that we enter. It's it's not too bad if you could uh, uh, select Cyrus's story because you can easily switch. Yeah, absolutely. But it is a bit of a time loss if that happens. That's uh, a few cutscene skips, I guess. Yeah. And a wall is short walk. So what happens in this town story-wise is um, ah. the entire city is under control of a, uh, of a of a man who makes people mine in his city, and he will buy the gold from them, but he'll only buy the gold at like a fraction of the price. So kind of extorting the people that work here. 
Uh, we figure out that there's actually uh, the stones that are being mined. If you uh, scrub them up a bit, they're actually really beautiful green stones. Sky and they stones. Think, sorry? Sky stones. Sky stones, right. That was the word for it. So uh, we decide to set up shop here. Because why not? Okay, I'm slowly getting uh, there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, additionally, X5 with Fire Soul Stone from this guy. That's going to help me with the third chapter boss. And we're going to buy one more here. Now, as we start selling them, we uh, manage, or we find uh, there's somebody who uh, decides to set up shop right next to us with the exact same product, and he's quite a quite a merchant. He uh, basically kind of a rival of ours here. Um, but Ali? Then, well, how is he called? Ali? I uh, yeah, it could be. I, I forgot his name, I'm sorry. Yeah, I for some reason it slipped my mind as well. <laughs> but yeah, he uh, he gets or the, he gets caught by the, the guy that owns the city and basically, uh, you know, fight breaks out. Uh, he, uh, he takes the money that we earned from him. He gives us 500 in return, even though we spent significantly more buying the uh, buying the stones. And I think Ali, if that's his name, gets taken away. And well, let's just say Omar isn't planning to do very nice things to him. Ali is uh, also the son of another merchant, uh, who turns out to be a bit of a swindler, uh, as revealed by um, Morla uh, by Morlock. What's his name? Uh, I don't. I don't remember yeah, what Morlock his name is. is. The bo boss. Uh, Omar is his uh, henchman. I got through the boulder pile uh, screen. Nice. Yeah, this is the encounter that I mentioned before, where I have the safety wind soulstone. Yeah, I'll be foregoing that safety. Oh yeah, completely fair. I got it before the safe, so it worked out in the end for me. Yeah, you're still a good few minutes ahead. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, but Omar is coming up, and we both know how that fight can go. Yeah. Omar is among the two very dangerous bosses in this run. Uh, depending on your turn order, he can just kill you. Yeah, definitely. You really need to get good turn order. I guess. <laughs> so, so here in the mansion, you usually get an encounter. So what I'd like to do is I just go into the second part of the mansion, and we're going to go into the menu uh, and reload that same auto save that we just made. You can also safety save and then go into the title screen. Time-wise, it's about the same. Yeah. I, I just like to use the auto save for it because it gives me a few extra steps. Okay, this is not too bad. I uh, got an encounter accidentally. I apparently wasted a few too many steps. Mm, it's it's not uncommon to get that. I got that one earlier today, actually, uh, in, yeah, uh, in, in my other run. Yeah, the encounters here are terrible to get. <laughs> that's why I usually we uh, save on the way back to the town, uh, because that was screen that walk is so long, uh, you tend to get an encounter there as well. Okay, Omar, let's see how this is going to go. So this fight really depends on your turn order. If your turn order is bad, you die. Yep. And this is pretty okay. Um, so he's going to get an attack off. And, uh, okay, he killed Cyrus, and that was the one who's going to go after him. Yep, I'm dead. Okay. So this is what I mean to say with that. If if he hadn't killed Cyrus, we I would have had a pretty easy fight there. Unfortunately, he decided to go for the kill, so we're just gonna have to redo that. This is the RNG that comes with this fight, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the reason why it's the not a done race yet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this... Ah, uh, you might be able to make this work. Yeah, I think so. Gonna have to heal a bit, but... Um... Uh, this... Oh, this is a bad uh, one. <laughs> So uh, while you're arming, uh, do we have time for some quick words? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. 
All right, I would like to remind everyone that we are the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering. We are organized bi-monthly gatherings in the Benelux for Speedrunners, and we are currently streaming our bi-monthly event in the Esports Game Arena in Alphen on the Rhein. We're also raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society, a nationwide organization committing hmm. to fight cancer while aiming for more cure and a higher quality of life for those already battling the disease. All of your donations will go to the Dutch Cancer Society, so be sure to get your donations in. Yeah, I'm getting really unlucky on this fight, actually. Yeah, it's pure RNG. This one is the worst, actually, <laughs> yeah. out of the two. Yeah, absolutely. The other one uh, you can usually manage uh, to set it up in, an, uh, in the rounds after. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I can go on for a while if you really want to. Um, go ahead. Yeah, sure. All right, so we want to thank ESA for supporting the event and allowing us to stream on their channel. And it can actually help both ESA and BSG at once if you use your uh, ivory sub to us on our Twitch chat, which you can also do if you have Twitch Prime. Um, you can actually use your free monthly token. Um, subscribing to the ESA channel will get you access to both the ESA and the BSG emotes as well. So uh, that's a two for one if I've ever seen one. And if merchanting has told us anything, that a good, <laughs> a good deal is always amazing. I like, I like how Snow, Sniper uh, turned uh, that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thanks, Box. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, I'll be doing a reload here and pick up uh, some money. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is how bad it can get. Yeah, really. this, is, this, is, this is just the worst. This is what I was afraid of happening. Yeah, I was a few minutes uh, behind, and now I'm only a minute or one and a half minute behind or something. Yeah, it's it's closed up a lot it's really how quickly this can go down the drain <laughs> okay i need to keep my notes open otherwise i'm lost <laughs> oh, i need this okay i need to Okay, safe reloads. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Looks like you got him. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to make this work. Uh, except I can't do armor corrosive this turn. Uh, if I want to break, and that's nasty. Uh, no, I have to. I have to try for it. Careful not to misread your notes here, by the way. Don't use hide help twice. I will make sure not to. Because uh, that one is nasty if you uh, mess that one up. Uh, hide help. Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay, Omar, let's do this. Please, please, two characters. Okay, I got him. That is that is one heck of a boss down. Okay, this I can make this work, I think. Okay, so Omar is out of the way, and that is one of the most dangerous bosses in the run done for me. It looks like Box has uh, ooh, yeah, over rigged that, though. Yeah, that's a bit of an uh, issue. We'll try. <laughs> uh, uh, Primrose, I need him. Uh, if, uh, I, I think Primrose there is fine. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I know how to do this. Uh, yeah, I can, should be able to make this work. Nice. Uh, okay. So I, I, this is really where you get to see the difference between a good fight and a bad fight. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll just play it safe. I should be able to make this work. Let's go. I help. Oh, I actually got through that screen without an encounter. That doesn't happen much. 
Uh, it has happened a couple times to me, but it's rare. I'm through, I'm through, Omar. <laughs> Okay, first try Omar, that's uh, lucky on my end. So this is where I take my secondary safety item. Uh, there is a, an Olive of Life in here, which uh, can be sold for 2,000. But the main reason I want this is because that way I don't have to take as many steps on the screen. So uh, my, money, or my, uh, my step counter works out just a little bit more easily that way. Failing you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, Esmeralda can change this this run. Honestly, it still can. It can. Or, it or even a mistake before that. I mean, a, a small step mistake in this next part can also yeah, get you an encounter and easily definitely. kill you. you should, I do take uh, safeties on uh, this uh, chapter usually. Yeah, but... same. Yeah, well, I was entirely ex expecting this character to happen here. <laughs> Yeah, right before the right before the exit, so yeah. you, that shows uh, how close it is. Yeah, earlier today I got the encounter, and literally one frame further was the screen transition. It's incredibly close, but more often than not, you do get the encounter. Yeah. It's pretty rare to be able to actually avoid it. It's cool when you can, though. Oh come on! <laughs> Unfortunately, it can waste quite a bit of time. Yeah, that's it's nasty. <laughs> So the story in this place, at the, or at this point, is uh, there is a, a major uh, bazaar going on where people auction off or try to auction off their own item. Um, and the one, or, and, and basically this very rich guy offers a reward for one million leaves for one item. And we need to find an item to actually be able to use in this, uh, in this market. Fourth try run. Ooh, that's nasty. That's terrible. Hey, you have a pretty high chance to run through those encounters, by the way. <laughs> That's the worst part. Well, some of them are easier than others. Yeah, in this uh, in this chapter here, essentially what we try to do is we're gonna try to find an item that um, that we can use on this market. There's also a lot of backstory about uh, the other merchant that we met and Balthazar and all of the history there. I'm not going to go into that here. You know, got to leave something for if uh, if you haven't played the game yet and still want to, right? Yeah, completely fair. By the way, right now so we're level 11 and we're about to enter a level 34 area. So that kind of gives you an idea of how under leveled we are. Nope. <laughs> I'm not having my best day with the uh, movement. <laughs> right before pick the solo. To be fair, that one's not that rare to get. Well, it's it's pretty rare, but... I made a safety save earlier, so the moment I have to reload this, um, I get further into the screen, so I oh, okay. should be able to make a second try. Yeah, you should be okay then. Yeah, because this one is definitely a few more steps in. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like to take the Shrine of the Huntress there. It's basically my safety save, and it's where I pick up one of my money items. Okay, I'm finally in there. Yeah, you have the best papers here, definitely. So this one's also kind of... It's pretty likely to get an encounter there. I managed to not. And this, this fight is actually kind of safe. Uh, unless you make a mistake, you should always win, basically. Yeah, he doesn't attack the first turn, so you, that allows you to set up uh, the correct way. <laughs> That's the reason why this fight is scripted from start to end. <laughs> this is also what we got the Fire Soul Stone for, because that just helps us in breaking him. Yeah, that fight fight is very safe, uh, however. <laughs> if only had it happened that I could finish the fight because I made a pretty mistake in the previous boss fight by misreading my notes and uh, 
Using hired help twice, and that gives you makes you thirty thousand uh, money short. <laughs> yep, same. That's happened to me. Yeah, it's 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 a very common mistake. Uh, easy to make under pressure. So we also steal from him to get an extra olive of life. That's just for money management. And then once we're done with that, we're going to use collect. 96% success rate to get another 16,000 leaves. And we use a uh, one of the two large thunder soul stones that we have to get the boss kill here. Yes. And that is chapter three out of the way. So on to chapter four in a moment, the last chapter in the run. And this time around, we don't actually have to, uh, we don't have to first travel to the town. We've already been there, yes. which is kind of convenient for us. The town of Grandport. <laughs> yep. So we get some more cutscenes, some more backstory. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about the backstory too much here. But uh, we also get the Eldrite, which is this really rare gem that we can uh, use at the market there. I'm now reloading. Hey, you teach inside to Ulbrich uh, for a reason. <laughs> a good reason. <laughs> it's good that you mention it, actually. I still needed to do that. Yeah, it's in my notes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, same. But I managed to forget that earlier today. That's kind of kind of sad. Uh, Insight is an, uh, an ability that causes uh, the enemies on the next turn to target only Ulbrich. And we need that in order to even be able to survive the next boss. Yeah, we use it to get a free turn, basically. So we're going to sell a bunch of stuff here. We need money, and a lot of it. So I'm going to sell the Olives of Life, and that should be enough. 89k, so you need 90k by the time you get to the boss, but you get some money in the dungeon itself anyway, so 89 will be plenty, because usually you get about 2,000, so... We're going to trigger a few cutscenes here. Uh, the gist of what happens is uh, there's there's this big market going on. All the merchants here selling their wares. Um, and then uh, the, the uh, throughout our journey, we've been keeping a diary. Uh, and this, this diary gets stolen here. We don't know why at this point in the game, but we, it just gets stolen and we want it back. So we're going to chase after them. Now our rival from before, he's actually going to help us out here. And he's going to distract the people a bit to give us a shot at just the, the girl, Esmeralda. Who is coincidentally also the final boss of this run. So onto the Grand Fort sewers. By this point, we get to a level 45 area. And again, we're like level 12 or something. We're significantly under level. And we're just going to make our way through this. We're going to make sure not to get any encounters. And then it's on to the boss. Uh, and that's the last boss of the game. Now, I will say right now, for the people at Tech, time is not immediately as we kill the boss, but rather it'll be as we... Um, as we skip the last cutscene after the boss. So there's... I just got 2,000, so I now have enough money. I think this could still be an official PB for me. My unofficial PB is a 54, which isn't happening, but... I'm pretty sure I'm not going to PB here. <laughs> uh, we're on 53 minutes right now, so... Yeah, no, no way. But my, unof my official PB is an hour and a little bit, so... I've done faster runs, I just haven't gotten them recorded or single segment, basically. Uh, this could be good. This is good. Uh, I'm gonna go for that strat. Pom L, uh, Tressa. Tony. Mm -hmm. This is a fight, basically. <laughs> I believe. Well, I still need to hit th uh, thousand spears four times, which I didn't. Ooh. 
Oh, that's unlucky. You're, you're, that's you're, you're very likely to hit that one, yeah. actually. Yeah. If you don't hit that, though, that's basically rip. Uh, I yeah, could... I, yeah, it wasn't, it, it wasn't gonna work. The chances of then dying there are just too common. Because recovering it is too difficult. It's possible, but it's probably better to just game over and try again. I have enough money. Let's go. So, basically, we want to break her on turn one using Ulbrick, if possible, uh, to go for the fast setup, which is what I tried to do there. Usually, if you don't get uh, that, it's better to defend than go for uh, a setup on the next turn. <laughs> In this case, you would automatically uh, need to go for that if you're lucky enough to survive this. Well, there is one chance here. If Ulbrick now goes first, Oh, he's going to go last. Yeah, screw that. Yeah, usually when they revive, they don't, don't easily go first. It can happen. It can happen, but it's very unlikely. <laughs> Japanese announcer, yes. <laughs> so yeah, in, the, in those situations, like I said, it's sometimes it's just faster to just die and, and wait it out. Yeah, and you can see how much time this costs. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, also getting close. <laughs> it's really going to come down to Asmeralda, isn't it, eh? It is, uh, it is, but you're still much more likely to bring mm, this out. I, I got really unlucky with that not hitting four times earlier. the turn or okay i can defend and try it like that okay let's do this <laughs> okay got it please what do you give me plus uh donate the money to cyrus this works yes <laughs> oh this is gonna be real close now um tressa oh. <laughs> This is gonna come down to the wire. Definitely. Uh, 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 In sight. Okay. Hired help Junior times four. Wait, what just happened there? Uh, I think I may have done gooped. I'm gonna win this. Yeah, I'm, no, uh... I made a mistake there. I used the the wrong thing. Um, uh, item L on Cyrus. <laughs> Best of defense. Uh, Cyrus firestorms. Yes, I think I'm in there. <laughs> yeah, I made a mistake. That's really on me. I, it ate my up input. No! I switched them around. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> you can see how, how close these fights can get, honestly. Uh, um, put a uh, pump M on Chessa. Uh, I'm probably not going to make this. I've made too many mistakes. Uh, Soulstone. I think this one should work. Please, please, please. No! No, I'm dead. I made too many mistakes. That's on me. Please. Oh, no. No! <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we're both struggling here, I guess. Oh, I had it. I had it and I'm messed up. Same. 
<laughs> uh, like we this. both had it, and then we both lost it. The game giveth, the I, game taketh I'm, away. No, 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 the game did not take this no, away. No, we did. Both did. of us. I did this. Both of us made a mistake there, causing us the, the costing us the a, fight. I had a perfect fight. <laughs> I could have won. Oh, this is bad. Uh, uh, let's do this. There's no way over it. It's gonna be go first, but we gotta try. It really doesn't get closer than this, does it? No, no it doesn't. Uh, I'm gonna set this one up. And hopefully she's kind. Uh, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, I can set this up, I think. Yes. Okay. Stop. Yeah, I can't. Okay, I am in I'm in there. Uh can I get some applause because we got a 100 euro donation from Zorbi. Woo! It Very says nice. hello, greetings from Switzerland. Long time watcher and donator. Let's save the animals. I did the trade wins. What I'm gonna do is I have an extra yeah, this fight is really technical, and just the smallest kind of mistake can cost you the entire fight. Yeah, definitely. This fight can go down south really fast, because I was one move wrong, and it cost me the perfect fight. <laughs> I am very careful here. Okay, I should probably be able to make this work. It depends on who dies here. Now, don't be a dum dum. Read your notes. Firestorm. Oh. Hmm. Omel on Cyrus. I need to calm my nerves down. Because this is so close. <laughs> Okay, this is where I went wrong last time. I used the uh, uh, veteran supplies instead of the mercenaries. Now I should be good. Okay, I should be able to do it from here. Uh, so, uh, uh, merchant skill, donate BP to Cyrus. Okay, I should be in there now. Uh, Cyrus, Palm Altressa. Extra Thunder Soulstone. This should and guarantee it. Collect. Armor Corrosive. Please. Yes! <laughs> nice. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 give, uh, I'll tell you when time is. Uh, just take my cue. It will be less than a minute from here. I need to do a walking and then it's just cutscene skipping and we're in there. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it, it was close throughout, I'll give it that. Okay, a few more cutscenes uh, to go. This Fire is the second la to last cutscene coming up. Get re get ready, uh, get ready. Uh, ready Time! Cyrus. I am one short. Uh, crap. Uh, we have an extra soul stone. Uh, sometimes it can happen that you have an extra old soul stone because of the endless items. I have another way that I might be able to make it work here. I need to wind down for a bit. Good dear lord. Uh, hired help, veteran soldier. You can do it, uh, buddy. <laughs> go, cruel, go. Pom and Tressa. Collect. That's the 30k we need for the next hit. Soulstone. 
Yeah, I was thinking that as well. I max it out and go. Yes, got her. Nice. <laughs> God, that was awful. Okay, so time is coming up for me as well. Just get ready for that. At least we both finished underestimate. What time did I finish, actually? Uh, 102.53. I'll take it. With the amount of mistakes I made, I'll definitely take oh, that yeah, one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Woo! Mine should be a high 104. I came, it came down to the final boss, so that's, uh, that's pretty I, cool. I think we put up a good show here. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, last few cutscenes here. We just skipped through them. Uh, Tressa basically Two wins more the cut thing. Cutscenes for him, uh, basically. Check the last. Here's the last one. Ready. Time. 104.53. Exactly, <laughs> exactly two minutes well apart. Done. Well done. Well played. You played really well, well but RNG really yeah, was. Yeah, and, and I mean, I've made the mistake on, on, on Esmeralda, otherwise that would have changed the thing completely. Oh, my nerves cost me so yeah. much time. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, though. We made it through. So, yeah, that was Octopath, Traveler, Tressa, Single Story. Um, We're done for today. Yeah, thank you, Boxmeister, for joining me. Thank uh, you for racing uh, me. That was definitely a was, very interesting it was, experience. It was a fun race. And uh, BSG will be back tomorrow. I'll actually be able to, to open the event there with Pokemon Gold. So that should be a lot of fun. Back-to-back -back runs, what's this? Yeah, back-to-back -back <laughs> runs, but with a night in between, basically. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if Tech is still going to go for a host somewhere. We'll, we'll see in a moment. But uh, either way, thank you just for joining uh, us. And just uh, go uh, see you guys tomorrow. Seconds,